What's going on, everyone? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming, and welcome back to episode 24 here on Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, in the last episode, we headed over to the Redwoods and got ourselves the Artifact of the Pack. If you guys haven't checked out that video, in the right-hand corner right about now is a link sending you on over there. So definitely check out that video, then come on back to this one. But today, guys, we have to get prepared for our first underwater cave, which means... We need to get ourselves an underwater team, and what better creature to get to take on the underwater caves than the Basilosaurus? On top of that, why not get an x basilo while we're at it? We are over here on Genesis 1. Honestly, I like the design of the x basilosaurus better than the Basilo, and it's a little bit easier to get, honestly, over here on Genesis 1, which I'll show off in this episode. So guys, if you find yourself enjoying this one, make sure to smash that like button. On top of that, if you're brand new to the channel or you've already been enjoying my content, but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. And guys, let's go x basilo hunting. Now, guys, as we're searching the water for our Basilo, and of course we find one right away. What level are you, buddy? You're 85. Okay, so as we're looking around for a better Basilo than level 85, uh, why would you even bother going for the Basilo as opposed to maybe the Megalodon or something else? Um, the Basilo is the only creature that can actually withstand the, um, the jellyfish things, so you will not get knocked off your mount or anything. Um, if you're on the back of a Basilo, which is kind of cool, um, they are a little bit different. They do look a little different than their, uh, traditional Basilo, um, versions. The, uh, the traditional Basilos have a stripe kind of, uh, vertical, so going from the head to the tail. Um, the x basilos also have the stripes that go horizontally from the left to the right. Um, but honestly, they are a heck of a lot easier to get. Is that a high-level one? No. Um, they are a lot easier to get because... There's not as many mantas around them, honestly. Like, that one right there has a total of three mantas. This one here has none. That one over there had maybe two. But if you're looking around on the island and stuff, every Basilu seems to have about 10 or 12 mantas that you kind of have to fight through. So, yeah. Plus, honestly, if you get a decent saddle, the Basilus can be really good, honestly. Um, they have a decent amount of melee on them. Their health is naturally really, really high. And honestly, I just really, really like the Basilu as my underwater team. And if you come over here to Genesis 1, I mean, you'll find them everywhere. Honestly, we've already seen like six of them. And yes, I know, I might have seen a couple of repeats and stuff like that, but honestly, it's not gonna take us too long to find some high level ones because not only is there a million of them on this map, on top of that, like, Genesis 1 is one of those maps like Genesis 2 where it's like you just find high level dinos like so quickly, so I don't know. This, I don't think this is going to take too, too long. But let me start kind of searching around. Uh, we will be going for one of these guys eventually, too. I definitely want to get a uh, Mega Shelly on. I want to see how they work on the island and everything. But anyways, let me take a quick look around. Let me see if I can find these guys. And uh, we'll go from there. So, oh, God, what's going on? Oh, God, one of those invisible... Uh, <laughs> one of those invisible um, whirlpools again or something like that. Oh, my God, we had that in another episode. Um, but anyways, yeah, let me take a look around here. Let me see what I can find. And I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. All right, guys, so it's honestly only been about a minute or two of searching, and I've already found a 135. Now, another positive of coming over to Genesis is uh, we can use HLNA and kind of figure out if this is actually a good one or not. So let's hold this down. Let's see if I can get HLNA to scan it. I might have to get off the mount. That's okay. Let's see. There we go. Uh, we're looking at 215 damage, 10,000 health. Uh, I think we're going to look around for something better. Uh, we have to remember that. 215 in damage, 10,000 plus health. So let me take a quick look around. Let me see if I can find another one, and we'll kind of compare and figure out. Did that honestly say 140? That did not say 140, right? I don't think it did. No, it didn't. It said 55. Okay. Anyways, let me take a quick look around. I'll see if we uh, find another one, and we can kind of compare the stats before we start taming one of these things. All right, guys, so it's been another about two or three minutes, and yes, another 130. So let's take a quick look at this thing and see if it has any better stats. So this one's better in health already at 12,000 and 205 melee. So not bad. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a look around because honestly, I feel like we can find better. Um, there is a reason, which I'll go over in a little bit, why I'm kind of only looking for maybe like the best one and everything like that. Uh, we're limited with the amount of resources and everything to actually tame these guys. But let me keep looking around. Let's see if we can find a better one and I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
Alright guys, so possibly three times a charm here. We have a level 140, which is better than what we've found so far. Uh, let's see kind of what we're looking at. 180 and 10.5. Wow, no, not that good. Okay, uh, yeah, no, we're still on the search. Third time's a charm did not work out for us. Alright, option number four. 180 and 13.9. That's actually not bad in the health department, honestly. Uh, I am going to have to take a few things out here. Alright, guys. So I've decided that that 135 will actually work on out. Uh, it had 13.9 in health to start, so it's not too shabby. I have three Ovises here. These are bred from the male and female we have over on the island. And we're going to do this little trick here. So what you do is, I think I showed this off in a previous episode, make sure you're on PvP because we have a 300 second timer now. Take out your Ovis. Throw it again, it's now going to be sick. And now what you do is you basically unclaim it and have your shadow main kill it. So you'll be able to get some raw mutton, no problem. And this is what we'll use to feed this thing. Because honestly, we should get a perfect tame and everything with that, which is nice. Plus, uh, it takes a ton of damage too, which is really, really cool. Um, but anyways, let's kind of get a little bit of this mutton here. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I probably shouldn't be putting it in my inventory yet. So let me kind of bring that on back. And let's go back down there. Let's actually find this guy because, uh, yeah, it should be, like, right here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, ooh, the Megalodon basically ran away. Okay. Not ran away. Went to the surface. I guess it died or something? Okay. That usually only happens with Colacans, but okay. Anyways, what we're going to do basically here is the uh, 135 is actually right there, and it is actually a passive team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the shark in a second here, apparently. Let's get rid of this guy first. There we go. Head over to the Basilo. Doesn't look like there's any mantas or anything with it, so it should be nice and easy here. Let's just double check. I want to say, yeah, 13 9. Okay, sweet. Walk on over. It'll say feed the mutton. We're going to feed the mutton. And get back on the Shadow Man and kind of wait this out for a little bit. It's at 11%, which means it should take about nine. Uh, let's see. I think that would be nine feeds, if I'm not mistaken. All right, it's ready for the second feed, and the, the second feed is always the longest, honestly. Uh, it took about five minutes, basically, to get that going, but uh, now it should be actually pretty quick. And what's nice about the Basilo is uh, it's a passive team, so all I have to do is, and it's docile, too, so it actually won't attack me or anything like that. Kind of just go up to it, and now we're going to be going nice and quick here, so hopefully we'll get this thing tamed up pretty quickly. Um, the downside is, apparently, um, if you see that little inky smoke that comes out of it. Um, apparently it's almost like the, um, what is it called? The ammonite, uh, bile kind of thing that if anything bad is in the area, it should like aggro. Um, I haven't really noticed it too much, but apparently that's a thing. Um, but yeah, we're already like four feeds in now. Um, so this should be going fairly quickly. Oh God, where did it go? It's kind of funny that a creature this size, you can lose really easily, honestly. So we'll hang out right by it. Perfect. There we go. All right, I think it's at about 94%, so this should be the last feed here. Let's grab the mutton, get a little bit closer to it. And there we go. That is our first Basilo. Stay there, do not go away. <laughs> they have this funny thing that if you don't actually whistle them right now, this thing will just take on off and go like forever out that way. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of a pain. So we're looking at 18,200 um, in health, which isn't too, too shabby. It started with 13, so I was kind of hoping uh, for a little bit better, honestly, but it's not too, too bad, honestly. Um, the reason why before I said that I'm kind of limited with resources is because I didn't know how long the mutton would spoil in, which is why I do, I am keeping it on the shadow main and everything like that. Um, because one, we only have a few cryos. One has to be used for the shadow main and one has to be used for the, um, for the otter. So we theoretically have one, two, three, four, uh, five. I guess we have a total of seven actually. So we can actually tame a decent amount of them. We have enough cryos and everything. It's just really dependent on the raw mutton time, which is why 
yes, we get a ton of it. You can see here, we have a ton. But it really just comes down to the actual spoil timer, because the spoil timer's high right now, on an hour and 42 minutes on the Shadow Main, but it's really when it carries over to my inventory in between feeds. So we'll have to see. I'm going to keep looking around and everything for them. I would like to get something higher than two... What was it? Like 215 melee was the best one that we saw so far. So I want to see if I can find a little bit better, honestly. Uh, what did I say? Oh, level 100. Okay. Um, I want to see if I can find a little bit better along the way. If I don't, what's nice about the Shadow Main is because of the amount of damage output it does, I can just go around and kill these things. And basically just wait for the new ones to spawn on in and kind of rinse and repeat, which is really nice. Um, but what's nice, too, is because, again, we are on Genesis 1, um, we will find higher level spawns traditionally. It kind of works like a custom map, like Ragnarok, Valguero, stuff like that, or Valguero, whichever one it is. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but you guys get the idea, basically. Um, it's funny that I keep looking at the, at the Megalodons and stuff because I don't actually have anything to uh, tame it or anything. I don't have anything to knock it out, I mean. Um, um, I brought 400 stone arrows over, but forgot Trank arrows, so, and you can't use a gun underwater. So, it was kind of pointless, honestly, but anyways, I'm gonna keep looking around, let me see what I can find and everything, and, ooh, level 100 again, ooh, that's kinda cool. And overall, we'll see what we can find, honestly. Um, I've actually never seen this area before, this area looks really cool. I'll be honest, I haven't really explored Genesis 1 too much because I never really had, um, besides the Basilo, a really good underwater uh, dino and everything. And I know the Megalodon got the TLC and everything. And believe me, the Megalodon is really good now, especially with packs. The real issue is when you have a jellyfish near you, which there's a jellyfish down there. I didn't even know they spawned on this map. Um, but yeah, once you get hit by a jellyfish on any mount, except for the Basilo, like, you're you're done. You get knocked off the mount, and you're just a sitting duck, essentially, which is why I traditionally go for the Basilo. Yes, you can go for the Mosa, which has a heck of a lot better damage output. You can go for the... Oh, I got caught in a bubble, I think pop the bubble um you can go for the megalodons which with the tlc with the pack bonus they are really good but yeah if you get hit by one of those uh one of those jellyfish it doesn't matter what you're on and it doesn't matter the damage output it doesn't matter about the health yeah you're done regardless which is why um which is why i go for the basilo honestly because the basilo that's not the case and you can get a ton of biotoxin with using the Basilo. So I feel like that's the same female that we just saw. I feel like I went in just a complete circle. So I'm going to keep searching here. Once I find another one, I'll bring you guys back. I would like a better da I would like better damage output. Maybe like 235 would be better to go for. But we'll kind of have to see what we find. So uh, let me get searching here and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this one might be potential. Yes, it only has 210 in melee, 129 in health, but it is a 150, meaning that it's going to get the most amount of levels and everything once it's fully tamed. Uh, I should probably go down there and get rid of those Megalodons first. Because that's the last thing I need, is this guy to take a little bit of damage. Yeah, let's do that first. Let me get these guys out of the way, and then we'll get started with this one. But definitely going for a 150. I mean, the stats look pretty damn good on it, too. So uh, let's see how this guy turns out. All right, let's get this taming process started and see how this guy turns out. First speed, let's get to the surface, though, because I need to get a little bit of oxygen. I'm actually running really, really low here. Um, another nice thing about this map is the water, you don't drown or you don't, like, consume oxygen as quickly on this map. No idea why, but it's a thing. Like, if you see my oxygen going down right now, like, it's going down relatively slow, honestly, like 96... 95 but if you do that on the island like it's like 10 seconds in the water you're already drowning like it's absolutely crazy um been looking around for mega shellions because if i come across a really really good one not in this episode but like i said i would love to get a mega shellion um never really used it much but i do have a uh, saddle back on the island and everything that i would love to try i would love to bring it over to the island and see how, what it can actually do. But we're going to be kind of riding this guy. We're going to be following this guy for a while now. So let me get through this taming process. And we'll check out his final stats once uh, once he's on, once he's done, basically. But looking pretty good stats-wise, honestly. So hopefully the melee gets a really good output, honestly. But we'll see what happens. 
All right, guys, so a bit of a little bit of a bad news. So we have this Manta basically right here. Let's see if I can actually, there we go, sweet. Okay, this might not actually be that bad. Oh, thank God, okay. I was about to say that, like, we wouldn't really be able to tame it too, too well with that Manta right there, but thankfully I was actually able to get a shot, and of course, it's not even ready to be fed or anything yet. Um, I did have a bit of a scrap uh, a couple minutes ago with uh, a couple of those eels and everything, so we have a little bit of armor broken at this point. We have the boots already broken, which is just fabulous, and uh, yeah, the rest of the armor is actually holding up. It's just the boots that didn't really do too, too well there, um, but anyways, yeah, continuing this process here. Um, hopefully we'll get to the second feed soon and then uh yeah get this guy get this guy tamed on up fairly quickly all right should be the last feed and it is ours awesome okay let's make sure we whistle stop again let's take a look at the stats so 320 in melee 18 7 in health um, so this one's actually our health one now. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we'll definitely have to find a better melee one, but 18.7 is not too shabby either. Um, really, really liking the health stats on this guy. Plus, um, over on the island, I actually have a, um, I think it's like a 55 armor saddle. So we're not looking too, too shabby, but we definitely need a, uh, boost in that melee. Because, what was that, 320, 330? Doesn't really seem like enough. 267 and 320, yeah. Um, definitely want to get a little bit more in the melee department. Want to pack a little bit more of a punch. So uh, let me look around. Let me see what I can find. All right, guys. So I might have found our melee one. So it's 145 mil. Um, it has a 240 damage base. Yeah, that, that seems really good. Uh, just double checking the area, making sure we're okay here. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let's get started with this one. Let's see how this guy turns out to be. I can only imagine this guy's going to be really, really good. Or at least I'm hoping this guy's going to end up being really, really good. So, again, let me get through this taming process. We'll check out his final stats in a little bit. Um, it shouldn't take too, too long. 11%, so about 9 to 10, uh, 9 to 10 feet, so not too, too bad. All right, this could possibly be the last feed. Let's see, and it is ours. Awesome. Okay, let's put it on stop for a second because there is a shark over here. Just want to make sure it hasn't... No, it's not near us. Okay, good. All right, let's check out this Basilo. Hopefully we have good melee. Please, better than 320. That's my stats. 385. Oh, my God. All right, we're good. <laughs> Sweet. Holy crap. <laughs> all right, let's look at all the stats, basically. Let's head over to the Shadow Man. Let's get on you. Oh, God. Let's get on you. Jesus. <laughs> you move so quickly in this water where it's like, it's really tough to get on your mounts. But anyways, okay, so we have the one Basilo who had 18,240 health um, and 1230 stam, 1148 in weight, and 267 melee. We have this male that has 18,720. Actually, wait a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> Our female doesn't actually have any good stats out of the group. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, uh, 1050 in stam on the male, along with 1274 in weight, and 320 melee. But then finally we have this one with 15,000 in health, so not better there, but that's okay. 1320 in stam, which is the best stam out of the group, 980 weight, and 385 melee. That melee is insane. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to quickly look around here. If I can find a high-level female... Maybe I'll end up taming it just because um, I want to at least have a female that has a good stat instead of trying to breed the males into the female since the female doesn't have any of the good stats. Um, I'll figure that out. If I do find something, I'll bring you guys back. If I do not, then I will see you guys back on the island because we're going to get to breeding these things. I want to see what a baby ends up coming out fully imprinted and everything. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I've actually found this 145. I'm going to be honest, I don't think any of the stats are going to be good, but I really like the colors on it. So uh, we're going to actually tame this one on up, and who knows? It's a 145, so it does have potential of having a best stat in some category. So let me get to taming her on up, and we'll check out her final stats once, uh, once she's all tamed and everything. So we'll see how it goes. And she's ours. Awesome. Uh, let's take a quick look at her stats. Uh, 14, 400, 1230, 285, and 1148. I'd have to double check with the males and see how that kind of stacks on up. 
I feel like the weight might actually be the best on this one, which is pretty damn good. But um, as I was taming this one on up, I saw another one over there that I actually really, really like the colors on too. So this has kind of turned into a Basilo uh, taming session, honestly. Um, so I'm going to head on over. I'm going to start um, working on this one. I've already done the first feed. So hopefully we'll be ready to go right away. We will not. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit. I'll bring you guys back again and uh, we'll check out her final stats once she's... Uh, fully tamed on up so see you guys again in a little bit all right guys should be last feed and we are good so gotta love the fact that i mentioned early in the episode that um yeah i don't know if we're gonna have enough resources and stuff and then we end up taming five basilos oh my gosh uh let's check out her stats and see what we're looking at here so 13 4 40 12 60 11 06 and 308 um i'm gonna be honest um i think the male still had better stats overall but at this point five isn't more than enough honestly let's head back to the island uh let's see what we can actually do taming wise and uh, uh breeding wise not taming wise and uh see how uh see how the imprinted final one looks honestly uh middle of the night here on uh genesis one and to be honest it's kind of funny that this is kind of the middle of the night and it's really not that dark it's uh 22 13 right now so yeah kind of funny that's 11 p.m basically but anyways let me find a quick uh obelisk uh transfer thingy and uh i'll see you guys back on the island all right guys so we are back here on the island and interestingly enough uh these basilos actually fit in our little pool back here so we're gonna breed them here because if i bring them out to the ocean there's sharks and all of the bad things there so i'd rather be safe and sound here um i will let you guys know that both males are the ones with the better stats uh this one has 1320 in stand 385 in melee i'm gonna breed it with this female because honestly I really like the colors on this female, and I'm kind of hoping the colors carry on over. Um, and then we also have this male over here that has 18720 in health and 1274 in weight. So, guys, honestly, once this thing is bred on up, once we imprint it, we're going to have a really good Basilo, and I'm really, really excited. So, let me get to breeding. I'll show off the final, the final imprinted kid once it's all said and done, and we'll check out these final stats. So, see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so after doing some breeding, we finally have our perfect Basilo. And honestly, I think this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, overall, I have named it Scuba Steve. This is an Adam Sandler reference. It did, in fact, get a mutation, but the mutation, I believe, is in food, so it doesn't really affect anything. But it did get that green belly on the bottom, and honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. Let's get on the back of this so we can kind of show it off a bit. Um, let me see if I can get, like, a little bit up in the air. There we go. Um, so it basically has, like, a black body with that green belly um and then it's got like a blue and almost a yellow i think on the um on the little stripes that are going horizontally it looks really nice i'm really really excited about this guy guys what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna do the whole transfer method on gaining a ton of levels on this um i showed it off in a um in a little video and everything if you guys are confused or you don't know what i'm talking about in the right hand corner right about now will be a link to that video it's really simple you honestly transfer a dino over to one map to another throw it out in a cryo, basically uh, re-cryo it and bring it back to the other map and you'll just gain a ton of levels. Um, when I did the experiment with the Shadow Mains um, that are getting ready for the Megapithecus fight, um, I think we got 46 levels, honestly, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so I can imagine getting 46 levels on this, plus I have all the babies that I still have to kill and everything. So this Basilo is going to get a ton of levels. So I'm really, really excited to do that. In the next episode, though, guys, we are going to be taking on... I don't know what the cave is called. I think it's the cave right here, if I'm not mistaken. There's one, like, right out here. This is to get the last artifact for uh, the Megapithecus fight. So we'll be taking that cave on in the next episode. Hopefully this Basilo is ready to go. Hopefully I'm ready to go. I have to look around for some scuba gear and everything like that. But I think we have some either from the Manta Racing that we did a while ago or maybe from Genesis 2 Drops. Not really sure. But, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button. Questions, comments, leave it down below. If you're new to the channel or you've already been enjoying my content but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. And guys, I'll see you in the next one when we take on our first underwater cave. Have a good one, everyone.